Hello guys, in this video I want to show you some stylized metal materials for Substance Painter from a fellow artist called Zach Maxwell, I add the link to these to the comments below. I will open Substance Painter 2018 now and Zach sent me a high poly and low poly version of a sword model that I'm going to texture using his materials. First I create a new project and select the low poly sword. It is in FBX format, I select it and press open and the other settings I'll keep as they are and press OK. OK, here it is, the low poly sword, without any details and the default material. And the next thing I do is to bake the textures and I will make use of the high poly mesh to bake the details of this into the textures. So go to the texture settings and then to bake mesh maps I will bake all the textures, but I don't need to bake an ID map. And then I select the high definition mesh of the sort. It's an FBX as well. And then I press this button here to bake the textures. It will take some time, but I speed this up for you a bit. And while it is baking, I really love this, you can see the details appearing on the model. Okay, it looks great already, but now it's time to add the smart materials to the shelf. Zach sent me the materials as a zip file, these are 16 stylized metal materials and the only thing I have to do now is to drag them into Substance Painter. Then this dialog appears and I decided just to add them to the current session. Then I press import and here you can see the materials. Zack also sent me two other materials for the sword, one is cloth and the other one is leather. These are not contained in the metals materials pack, but if you need them, just drop the developer a line, he's really responsive. Ok, now let's see, the first material that I'm going to add to the layer stack is the steel material. I just drag it into the layer stack and here you can see the result. This looks really good, but I want to use a different material for the lower part of the sword. I'm going to use bronze for this. So I drag this material to the top of the layer stack. And after that I add a black mask. Then I want to make the parts visible, for that I want to see the bronze material. So I go to polygon fill, then select mesh fill. And then I just click onto these parts and they will be filled with the white color, so that the bronze material appears at these areas. Ok, the next part, there is leather bent around the blade, and I want to add the leather material for this, so again I drag it to the top of the layer stack and add a black mask. Alright, now to make the leather for these parts visible, I use again the polygon fill, but I use the feature UV chunk fill. Then I click onto these parts, onto the corresponding UV islands, and as you can see they are filled nicely and the leather material appears again. And for the handle of the sword I will use the exact same approach. Here we have some bands for which I will use the cloth material, and again add a mask and use the UV chunk fill feature to make the cloth material visible at the selected UV islands. Ok, and the last material that I'm going to add is the dirt material, which is also part of the pack, and I just drag it to the top of the layer stack. And the last thing that I like to do is to add some post-processing effects, just to make it look amazing. Ok guys, I really hope you liked this tutorial and the stylized materials pack for Substance Painter. As I said, the link is added to the description below and yesterday there was an update for the pack, so be sure to check it out. If you like my channel, then don't forget to subscribe and if you want to support me, think about being my patron. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.